are recording. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh. the exclusive Zero Dark Nerdy Next Gen Console Unboxing. You have myself, Captain Cleveland, and with me, the succulent Jordan Brown, a.k.a. Doodoo Brown, 3879. I think one thing here that's really awesome, you can see his box. You can't see, see mine yet. His, he kind of, I'm burying the lead a little bit here. Jordan's kind of putting it all out there. That box is humongous, by the wait way. Till see, wait till you see the system. We're talking about the system, folks. Um, I think one of the things that, that we're doing here with Zero Dark Nerdy, and I talk about it being exclusive, is I've seen some unboxing videos over the last week and a half from different sites, IGN and some other folks have done unboxing. But ladies and gentlemen, where have you seen an unboxing that happens simultaneously with both systems? I don't know if that exists anywhere. So luckily, what we're going to do is give you our first impressions. Uh, give you our thoughts, and then obviously we're going to play these things a little bit, and we will come back maybe in a week or who knows. We'll have to talk to the boss on that one, old uh, El Nino. We'll have to talk to El Nino on when we can do a, do a versus episode where we talk about the actual uh, performance of the machines. But with that being said, let's get into it. We're going to do one system, then the other, instead of sort of doing them simultaneously. Dudu, Mr. Mister Brown. Yes, sir. Bass player for my favorite band, my brother Skyler. Please, right. by all means. God, that fucking thing is huge. It's, it's so fucking like, like, where are you? And, and I know, I'm sure you've heard what I'm about to say before, but where are you going to put that? <laughs> that is not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> like, where are you going to put that thing? <laughs> I'm actually, if you want a visual representation. Yes, so. yes, please. So, okay, so this is my living room. Um, I'm going to put, here's my gaming setup. Excuse the trash. What not? Can you see my gaming look, setup here? Look at all that cash. Yeah. I've got my system underneath. This is a this is a little heater right here for your feet, for my feet, for my feet season. When my so when are my you playing? Falls. Are you are you playing on a on a on a uh, monitor? Yeah, yeah. I just got an LG uh, twenty seven inch. I don't I don't uh, want to get too far off course here, but what what's the? I mean, I understand. I play with a lot of guys who play PUBG, and for the yeah. folks out there, we did an episode on PUBG versus Fortnite about a year and two years ago. Maybe COVID messes up my timeline. Yeah, time's but weird. I know a lot of people who play PUBG play on the monitors, so you're doing yeah. that for Call of Duty. Yes. So do you, do you feel like it? And and the main reason behind it is, and this is such first world problems, so you don't have to look as much, right? Right. So you don't have as much of this going on as your huge screen TV, oh and you can God. just you know glance with your eyeballs. And no, no wonder the people. Idea, the idea is that you're looking straight the entire time, and you can see you don't have to, you know glance as move, much as move your head you don't have to move your head as much love it so okay therefore your reaction speed would be tip top i still play on a big ass tv so i guess that's probably why i suck so let's get let's get to it let's see this place i wish you had a fucking tape measure for that thing i was uh, you want me to go follow one how, yes how big is that box and and you know what let me pull this thing back a little bit i mean this isn't a little box by any means you know, when you put it next to the next to the Jim Brown picture. I mean, it's it's big, but yeah. th and I and I'll say oh, yeah. my initial my initial reactions and I'm only looking at that PlayStation box. I haven't seen it before. It's right. it looks very um, like thin cardboard. Is it, is it like a thin box? 
Oh, the outside is, but there's also an inner, an inner cardboard. Like I'm going to tell you, and, and I don't, I'm just, this is my initial reaction feeling this box. It's been sitting in my foyer for two days. This feels like the soft touch. This feels like an iPhone box. Oh, like, awesome. like an Apple, like an Apple product. No, this doesn't feel as hard as an Apple. As an Even Apple. though it's a Microsoft, Microsoft. product. <laughs> but it feels Apple. like, obviously, Microsoft took some cues from their number one competition. Well, that's form of flattery, right? Yeah. And yeah. all that. So that's 17 inches. That's not as big as I thought. So it's a foot and a, it's, it's a foot and a half. It just looks massive. Jeez, yeah, like I when I listen when you I'm sure you can you, are you doing this on your phone? Yeah. So I'm doing it on a 27 inch monitor, okay? And I'm looking at it, and and obviously our pictures are are scrawled across here. That literally takes up, um, I'd say, it definitely takes up half of your screen. Like oh yeah, that, for sure. Like I I can see my picture within the picture. And yeah. It's pretty like it's it's not it's not close to me. My okay. camera's not. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and enough of the box reactions. Okay. And I know that's what people came to talk, hear us talk about the cardboard. Um, you know, sometimes you watch some videos for some box reactions. Hey. Hey. Okay. So we open it up. Ooh, I like that. Turn turn it around. Let it let let it see the back there. It's kind of like a nice little present right here. I like it. Okay, so it's it's got an that so the outer shell is sort of the yeah. flimsy cardboard, but it's got a much more dense inner inner casing. So that, that so FedEx delivered that? Yeah, so so did, me and did, my did, he, did he come in a FedEx truck? Yeah, big old FedEx truck. Bro. My UPS guy came on Monday. Motherfucker pulled up in a, in like a U-Haul. I think that they were like doing like undercover missions so they didn't get fucking robbed. That's fair. That's very true. I mean, yeah. I'm like, why is know. why is this U-Haul parking in front of my house? And then <laughs> little, little fucking UPS guy jumps out, rolls his thing up. He comes walking up to the door. I'm like, is that what I think it is? He's like, you know it. <laughs> So, so he knows what it is then. I mean, my guess is that he was specifically delivering Xboxes. Well, that's that's just weird because you're, you know, who'd you get yours through? Best Buy. Okay. Maybe it's a Best Buy thing? Maybe. I don't know. I know. I, through I saw pictures of, I forget what retailer it was. I mean, the, on, there's a sticker on my box. Okay, but I also saw pictures, but there's a sticker on my box that says, do not deliver before November 10th. So what I think is the retailers sent them out. They were sitting and holding at the carriers in, 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 and then the carriers then dispense them to the regional hubs to be delivered. Anyway, boxes and yeah. logistics are what my, we've uh, talked. Me and my roommate, me and my roommate both got one. And the guy walks up just with two fucking big ass boxes, PlayStation fives. We're nice. standing at the door like, <laughs> give me. And he's in there playing his right now. Yeah, he's playing Miles Morales right now. God, it looks amazing. All right. Oh, I have I have little steps I have to take. Oh, here's how you open the box. Here's the, let's see. I don't know if that's if that's nice of Sony or just an in, in, indicative of who they think their customer is. Oh my Jesus Christ! It wants you to know which side is up is all. Like Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. Oh, what's this? That's probably the cords and stuff, right? I want to see that controller, man, because everything that I've been hearing and reading is the controller is really the star of the show with this thing. Dude. I, I saw I, uh, my roommate booted it up, and I played a little bit of the Astros Playroom. Yeah, yeah. And, and walking in grass and walking in water feels, and walking in clay feels different haptically 
on the controller. It's, it's, it's surprising to me that Microsoft didn't go that direction. Their their stance and a lot of people who have reviewed these is that you know the Microsoft controller was already perfect, and, and I agree with that. But having that feature, I gotta believe that there's working on that and that'll be some sort of an accessory that you can buy down the road so xbox fans do not fear okay you ready yeah jesus wait do you need do you need to get another table watch where you're fucking swinging that thing <laughs> yeah how long have you been thinking of these <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, dude. It's it's hefty. Whoo! It's fucking hefty. Is it heavy? Yeah, it's kind of heavy. It looks heavy. Don't don't throw your back out. That's a beautiful. That is a beautiful machine. What's your initial impressions as you start just looking at it, feeling it, touching it? Yeah, it's just pristine i mean it's just look at this thing so you did not get the digital version you elected to go with the disc drive 100 yes, more yes. 100 more dollars yep any any reasoning behind that uh i just am always a fan of having a physical copy of things so i went with the disc plus you know it's cool little collector's items i guess how 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 you know the 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 quality is is there like um you know, is there like a matte finish on those face plates? Uh, like, yeah, is it matte. textured? Yes. No, no. The in, the outside's not, but the inside is textured. And I wish you could see this. It's got the it's got the 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 symbols on the buttons, right? Yes. The yeah. little teeny tiny XOs, triangles, and uh, circles. That's cool. Squares. How, how do how do those how do those face plates feel? It's two hands high. It's a miniature horse. <laughs> <laughs> How do those face plates feel, though? I mean, does it is the is the construction on that bitch sturdy? It's solid. Like I mean, it's. I know there was a, a like a third party that was uh, trying to sell yeah, it, to... but Sony shut them down. Shut them the fuck down real yeah. quick. At least they changed their name. They're. Um, I don't think they got shut the fuck down, but they are having to. to um, Turn turn the machine so we can see. Yeah, I like that. Now, now let's see the other side. The back side? Yeah. Let me see it from the back. Dirty, dirty boy. Let me see the other side. There's, There's not nothing. much there. Nothing there. So that's... Are you going to stand it straight up? Absolutely. Yeah. God, that is a big... It, But believe it or not... It's not as big as I thought it was going to be. If I had a dime, but <laughs> it is, honestly, it is just as big as I thought it was going to be. It's going to fit perfectly under there. I'm going to, here in a second, I'm going to unplug my PlayStation 4 and set it the size. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Size yeah. Different. But I have to, I had it on rest mode, so I've got to, okay. So we've got the manuals and whatnot. It's funny because it's funny because before we started this, we were on a we were on a little bit of a video conference call with with uh, Brian Brian Hernandez and Jordan's like, oh, this thing's only going to take like fifteen minutes. It took us fifteen minutes just to get through uh, FedEx, UPS, and the boxes. Has it already been fifteen minutes? <laughs> it's, dude, it's been it's been like twenty minutes at least. Dude, time is weird. I'm just telling you. So that's a little stand, right? So it comes with a stand. And the controller sits on that thing too, right? What are you talking about? On the stand? Yeah, so the control that that little that little thing on the oh, right. Yeah, the control that's sort of a rest for the controller. I know more about this thing than you do. Well, some people like to go in blind, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You you already opened one today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's the controller. Yeah, oh I, this God. is this is the thing. So, put, hold it up to the screen so everybody can see it. 
So I heard. Is that your roommate? <laughs> Did he go, oh my that? god, dude. Dude. Well, hold on. Okay, let let it adjust. It'll adjust. It's not adjusting. There it will move your hand. Yeah, adjusting real good, isn't it? It is. It is. Okay, put your hand back up there. <laughs> so it's it's not doing it justice. Hold on. Let me use the the filter that you use to send your your lady friends your um your wide angle um naked pi- eye? naked <laughs> naked pickies where you got your one leg up in the air holding your base over your junk use that 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 um filter first of all how did you get that picture cuz you sent them to me 3 times on accident on accident that's, that's not true okay you so sicko so there There you that. go that's good it's perfect it's It's so it's little, bigger. It's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit thicker in the body. But like weight wise, it's got a lot more. I wanted to say girth, but girth is it's not a weight thing. It's just it's got it's got it's more dense, correct? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Big time. Oh, it feels so fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Okay, so PlayStation 4 is Yes. Okay, you ready for this shit? (laughs) (laughs) There's that. That reminds me of the picture that my mom has of me and my brother when we were kids. He's eight years older than me, and I'm like standing between his legs, <laughs> and I'm just like a little tyke. This reminds me exact. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Look at look at that. That's a model right there. Okay, we you ready? I am. I am, and this is this is um, this is forty eight hours, a little over forty eight hours in the making. Mine got delivered at. This is what this is Thursday. Mine got delivered Tuesday morning. We had planned on doing a in person version of this, but I think, you know, just I, I Jordan couldn't wait anymore, and or Jordan couldn't wait at all. Actually, I should say I was gonna wait. All right, so here's the box. Nothing nothing too special. There's a little picture right there. Top, another picture. And then on this side, you got some just spec information. Um, ooh, and then the back, you got the Master Chief for, for all the Halo fans out there. Nice box. We already talked about it. The quality of this thing is... It's pretty unique. Uh, you know, for Apple. Great. No, like Apple, Microsoft's number one competitor. The cool thing oh, about sure. this, the cool thing about this is the, the it's just got little tabs that you rip right off. So I love that. I love that. I think the interesting thing about this machine that I'm about to open here is... It's got 17, we'll round it up to 20%. It's got 20% more memory capacity. It's also got an expanding memory that you can add for $220. It's pretty expensive. The SSD on this is just larger, uh, which is surprising because it's not as as big of a machine. Uh, At least I don't think so. Uh, The one... Go ahead. It's one terabyte, right? Yes. The one advantage... Jesus, I can't open this. Oh, because there's other tabs. The one advantage that I've seen so far, and there's there's a way that, that uh, Microsoft has kind of offset that a little bit. The download, or excuse me, the loading times on the PlayStation are faster. So 
if your machine is off and when you turn it on you can basically what i've read from some experts is you can be from off to being on top of a building in miles morales in less than a minute and while you know the the xbox is pretty fast too it's not oh boy it's not that fast but the way that microsoft i mean just yeah, look that's cool that's a nice looking box the way that microsoft is offsetting that is they have a quick resume feature i mean this is like this is crazy i mean this is like fucking solid styrofoam in here they really did go with some presentation there uh, I mean, it says when you open it up, it says power your dreams. It's right there in front of you. I'll do, I'll go the direction you did and open the little guy in the back first. Um, but what, what I was saying is Microsoft has the quick, res, uh, the Xbox has a quick resume function. So basically you can have, I think it's up to 10 games open at a time and you can just immediately return back to where you left off. So that's how they're offsetting the the difference in load times with you know with with the PS5. But clearly I, go ahead. I just don't know when I would be playing 10 games at one fucking time. Well, you don't have the X you don't have the Game Pass either. <laughs> So, oh my God. So I, I opened up the controller. What I'm going to tell you is this. Um, it feels, honestly, it feels a little bit smaller than the Xbox One controller. But the difference is when you hold on to this thing, it's crazy, man. It has like, and you can't see, but right here and wow. right here. So, so the whole front of this thing is... It's matte, but it's soft touch matte. So the old one was matte too, but it was like, it was like plasticky. Like this almost feels like, like a synthetic, almost like a rubber material. Okay. Um, oh, see, this is interesting. So the, the D pad is different. It's got directional. So this is closer to the uh, Xbox, uh, whatever that souped up controller they have with that yeah, costs yeah, like $200. Yeah. But you hear that? There's audible feedback on the directions. So when you play it, uh, that's nice. The The controller's pretty much the same from that standpoint. I really, really like the texture on the bottom here. Uh, and then the, the bumpers, small differences. There's texture on the bumpers. They're a little bit more, they feel a little bit more... Um, like resistant than the other ones the old i thought i thought definitely the 360 was very flimsy the xbox one they did a little bit better with more resistance this is a really nice controller i've always and you and i have talked about this in the past one of the reasons why i like xbox over ps is because of the controller i've always thought the controller was just more meaty and and, and felt better in my hands meaty and felt better in my hands. jesus you're just going on today but I, what do you mean? I, I like, I like the new, you like meat in your hands. Um, clearly, clearly though, from from the, the, the PlayStation controller, because they've taken it to the next level with the haptic feedback that you can feel differences while you're playing. And even like in driving games, like there's the, the bumpers, the triggers. So so what I've heard, the the coolest thing I've heard about it, and he's playing, he's like, I said, he's in there playing uh, Miles Morales. So these back two triggers here, um, say you're swinging from your web or whatever, um, the, the, the tautness of the actual trigger changes. Taut. Tautness (laughs) changes while you're either first swinging, mid swing, and then when you're releasing it, yeah. it whips away from you. And they're saying that with with the next Call of Duty or maybe even the next one after a Cold War, um, they're saying that each gun will have a different feel to their trigger. But that's how it should be. Yes. Right? Like that's how these games like let's be honest, like with Call of Duty and with, you know, PUBG and, and all these other first like shooter games it's there should be some type of a difference between whether you're using like a like an smg or like an assault rifle or even when you're using like one of the big dogs right 
Yeah, for sure. Right. For sure. Or a sniper. Oh. Hold on. This oh. fucker. Yeah. This fucker is heavy. You so, said it was light as a feather. The box was. It's a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. There's no <laughs> question. Here is. Oh, clearly. The, 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 here's a diagram on how to put batteries in the controller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's another thing. We don't need batteries in our controller. Or not we, but PlayStation 5. Me? Sorry. What do you mean, uh -oh. you people? <laughs> <laughs> we, um, the discharges through the actual PS. So Yeah, and I think, I don't know this for a fact, and I could be completely lying here, but I have battery packs for the old controller. I think those will still work. Okay. And if not, and if not, they'll they'll have them soon enough that it's not going to stop me. So one of the one of the other things that I haven't called out here that's really interesting is there's a there's a phone app for which I have already on my phone, but that helps with the whole uh, uploading and conversion of files process from old to new. So that that's really nice. I we mean, have that too. I guess. Well, I think when you talk about cloud gaming and things like that, it's probably my guess is Microsoft probably has a little bit of a leg up on oh, Sony. Perfect. Yeah. Right. So power your dreams. Very, very nice. We're finally getting, I mean the packaging on this, they, they, not to say that the, the X or the Sony didn't do this, but they really went the extra mile. I mean, this isn't just like, uh, I mean, this is like a crazy, it's a little oh, Christmas present. It is. It's and it's and it's so nice, and it's. Is it um, actually wrapped? Yes, it's actually <laughs> wrapped. Like I am, I'm sitting here avoiding being my nine year old self and go. Fuck yeah. Oh wow. What's it smell like though? It smells like success. Um, so I mean, just the look at this thing. Very, sort of the opposite, right? Very minimalist. You know, while the, the PS looks like a like a spaceship, you know, it's very sort of futuristic. This is quite the opposite. The front of this, you know, just sort of your standard Xbox button that you turn it on and off. Disk drive, um, you know, the back or the bottom, nothing special. The back, you know, nothing really special. The one thing to point out here is right here. This is the storage expansion that you can buy. You can buy, like I said before, the SSD storage expansion. It's another $220, but it's another, I think it's. The only reason, the only reason it's um, that much is because it's made specifically for that. And it keeps with the load times of right. the box. Right. It's the same SSD. And right. Then, so if you were to use a different third party, it, the load times wouldn't be there. Yeah, be but. You know, I mean, I, I would just, I might, I have a 500 gig SSD up there that I've attached to my Xbox One. I'm just going to keep that, plug it in, because I use that to keep games off of my hard drive, right? Yeah. So the games that I'm playing, I transfer to my own hard drive. Right. So that's just used for that. So, I, I mean, look, it's, this is, this is beautiful. The the PlayStation's beautiful. I mean, this is just beautiful in a different way. I mean, I think this is going to sit, you know, I got the loft up there. Um, you know, this will sit perfectly right behind the TV. I think yeah. that, you know, the, the PS5 would, would sit perfectly right up um, behind my TV. So, you know, there may be a PS5 up there in the future as well. Any, any um, you know, I know you went and bought a game. What would you get? I went and bought. God damn it! <laughs> Demon Souls. Demon Souls. Yes, I went and bought Demon Souls. They had. Did they have anything else there? Uh, I didn't really ask. Uh, he did say that my, since I didn't play the PlayStation Four um, Spider Man, uh, he did say that when you buy a specific version of Miles Morales, it's it got that with, on it. It comes with the full game on it. Uh, Call of Duty comes out tomorrow, right? Uh. Yep, I've got that pre down Well, as soon as I hook this up, I'm going to pre-download yeah. it. Yeah, I will probably buy that. I also have the Xbox game, Xbox game Pass. I know I alluded to that. So we, we've been talking about the advantages, load times on the PS5, the controller, 
Um, the Xbox, it's a little bit smaller of a machine. The, the hard drive is a little bit larger. One of the big advantages, I think, of the Xbox, in my opinion, is the, the full, full backwards compatibility of this. So PlayStation 5 is backwards compatible with PlayStation 4. Xbox Series X and the Series S are backwards compatible with all generations of Xbox. So, That's and nice. yeah, and it scales your old games. Look, they're not getting scaled up to 4K, but it, it scales them up as much as it possibly can. So, when you start talking about the Xbox Game Pass, which is like 16 or 17 dollars a month, and just at the beginning of November. They've included the EA Game Pass in with that as well. So for $17 a month, you get the Xbox Game Pass, you get the EA Game Pass. The EA Game Pass basically has everything except for this season's sports games. Uh, and then the Xbox Game Pass just has, it's got about 400 games at any given time. Xbox 360 games my guess is now that they have this fully backwards compatible machine they're going to start to offer more original xbox games so you know for people that have kids or you know don't necessarily want to spend 60 or 70 dollars that's the other thing right uh playstation exclusive so one of the big things that playstation folks hang their hat on is that you know ps has more exclusives than they do but playstation is charging 70 dollars for their exclusives well, so dollars more i hear you I, listen I'm just I'm I'm letting our fans know what the deal is. So for people that don't want to pay seventy dollars for a brand new game, you can spend seventeen dollars a month. You'll have you know a library at your fingertips. Um, I'm gonna go. I gotta take my dog to the vet. I'm gonna plug this thing in and start up downloading. I know you are too. You're gonna play some games. I'll play some games, and then maybe in a week or so we can come back and we can do this again again let's do this again for sure so you know get on social media let us know what you guys think let us know which systems that you bought what games you're playing uh if you got any what's, questions what's gonna be your first game you pop in right now probably because of what i have probably fifa FIFA or you know what I might actually play I've been playing Red Dead 2 a lot lately I yeah, may yeah I may actually play that one first just to see how the upscaling on it looks and uh -huh. then I don't know I I I, I want to I'm gonna get Call of Duty uh either tonight or you know tomorrow or whatever and yeah. that that'll be the first next truly next gen game I play so FIFA. I love you bud I love you man I haven't seen you in a minute Enjoy, uh, enjoy your PlayStation Five, and we will talk more about this later. Absolutely. When you get that wars, when you get uh, Call of Duty, make sure we squad up. I will. I'll let you know. All right, bud. All right. Yeah! Victory! And anger management? Fuck anger management.